A warm welcome to Burnley Football Club on Turf Moor for tonight's Autoglass Trophy normally early semi-final between 3rd Division Huddersfield Town and 4th Division Burnley. Burnley currently 3rd in Division 4 take on a 3rd Division side that is currently struggling in Division 3 and lost on Saturday to Stoke 2-1. Burnley, however, picked up a great 1-0 win over Halifax. Not as comfortable as many thought before the game, but the three points was picked up thanks to John Pender's goal in the second half. Huddersfield and Burnley reached this, this stage through winning both their groups. Burnley beat Blackpool 3-1 at Blackpool, picked up a 2-0 win here at home to Doncaster. Huddersfield beat Wigan 1-0 away and Scarborough, picked, they picked up a draw 1-1 at home. Let's quickly run through the two sides. Burnley line up with Nigel Walker in goal, two Ian Meesham, three Joe Jacob, four Mark Monnington, five John Pender, six Andy Farrell, seven the former Preston player Steve Harper, eight John Deary, nine John Francis, ten leading goal scorer Mike Conroy and eleven Roger Eli. Huddersfield line up with Tim Clark in goal, two Simon Travell, three Simon Charlton, four Neil McNabb the former Manchester City on a load at the moment from, Hudder, from Tramia rather here at Huddersfield. Five, Graham Mitchell, six, Peter Jackson, seven, Kieran O'Regan, eight, Kevin Donovan, nine, Ewan Roberts, ten, Mark Wright, and eleven, Ifu Yonora. The two substitutes for both sides are Mark Yates and Graham Lancashire for Burnley, and Huddersfield surprisingly filled Starbucks to start the game on the bench after scoring from the penalty spot on Saturday. He, remember, was signed early in the season for 120,000 from Notts Forest. The other substitute for this field is John Kelly. The referee for tonight's game is Mr. J.L. Watson from Whitley Bay, and his linesmen are Mr. D.M. Charnley and Mr. Swift. It really just bold for a great game here. There's, at the moment, I'd say around 8,000 people inside the ground, a good contingent of around 1,500 from Huddersfield. And at the moment, the atmosphere is just about ready to get us underway, as is the referee. Let's just go back to how these two sides got to this position. Huddersfield, going back to them, they drew Blackpool at home in the first round. It was 1-1 after extra time, but a 4-2 win on penalties provided Huddersfield with a platform to play Berry in the next round away, which they, after being behind 1-2-1, Burnley played Scarborough, who were Huddersfield's opponents in the group at home. This was overcome 3-1. Away then at Rotherham for a tough fixture against another top of the table fourth division side. That was 1-1 also until penalties decided the game, which Burnley won 5-3. So Burnley are going to kick off. They'll be attacking from left to right in this first half. Huddersfield from right to left as we get right wait for Mr. Watson to get us underway. People still drifting into the ground. I'd say by the final count there'll be at least 10,000 in here. It really is a first division setup here. The stands speak for themselves. As Peter Jackson gets his first touch. Burnley will want to take control of this game from the start. Huddersfield are a useful side. As John Pender, the Burnley captain, gets it back to his keeper, Nicky Walker. As I was saying, Huddersfield, a third division side of notable pedigree. They've been there or thereabouts the last few years in Division 3, but have yet to really make an impact in the division. And this season it cost it Owen Hand his job. Here's Francis, can't pick up the ball, up to Roberts. He's the danger man for Huddersfield and leading goal scorer. If you're near up. He's got support inside if he wants it. And here goes on his own. Good tackle from Penda. And we get the first corner of the game. Well, Mr. Brian Crossley in the BOLM go to the development office urgently. That's Mr. Brian Crossley to the development office. Ian Ross now in charge of Huddersfield. He's been like that for two weeks. He suffered his first defeat on Saturday. And I'm sure he wants his team to bounce back. But Burnley won't give him the opportunity. And that's good defending from the corner. Back in by Donovan. This is danger. Out by Monington. Not fully cleared. Huddersfield will go back inside the area here in Aura. Looks for the free kick. Has to go it alone. And Pender again gets in the way. 
and gets the ball back to Nicky Walker. Walker currently on loan from the Scottish club Hart. His, his kick doesn't go anywhere near Steve Harper. Here's Roberts. Down the line again, but it's going to be cut out by Monington. Now Jacob wins the throw in. Dierick forward, down the line, not a bad ball too. Well stepped in by Mitchell, but only to concede the throw in. Jacob will leave the throw in. It's going to be a long one. From Eli, he decides this time to go short instead as I get my facts wrong. Good play from Joe Jacob, looks for the corner, doesn't get it. Then they will want an early goal just to really stifle this game and set it even at a higher pitch than it is now and make Huddersfield who are going to have to come at Burnley because this game will be decided tonight whether it is finished in extra time, full time or penalties both sides do have good records on penalties so far in this competition as we said before Huddersfield having disposed of Blackpool in the first round by them and Burnley by Rotherham in the second round Here's Misham. And there's the offside flag. Huddersfield, who was, as I said, stuttered of late. And they might be just going through the period that Burnley need to get them a win in this game and get them through to the area final, which will be against either Crewe or Stockport, who also play tonight at Crewe. And it's obvious from the start what kind of game Huddersfield will be playing. Offside there again against Conroy and Eli. Mitchell looking for an aura. Straight up Joe Jacob. That one was a little dubious. Certainly right in line with the decision from Mr. Charlie. And I couldn't see how Roger Eli was offside. Mr. Charlie, however, I will give the benefit of the doubt. Mitchell again with the high ball. Roberts is up. Good defending from Monington. Jacob with the clearance. Up goes Eli, doesn't make it, comes straight back into the edge of the area. Now maybe a chance for Burnley to break. Conroy holds play up, finds Eli, back to Jacob. Harpenard with the opportunity to run. Holding play up. Looks to Francis, good header from Francis is Conroy. And Huddersfield get the ball up, looking for an aura. Penders there first. Dierick, good ball forward. Neatly intercepted though by Simon Trevel. Mark right in a corner. And he had to give away the throw in. Right who's in for Phil Starr because I said before, bought from Nottingham Forest and had a few opportunities to watch Phil Starbuck this season and he's impressed me on every occasion. Obviously, M. Roth maybe has just felt that he's lacked his goal scoring touch, which he seems to have lost in the last few weeks, which is only good news for Burnley. Deary, up to Eli. Good play from Roger. Spreads it out to Misham. A superb bit of play from the fullback. He's got Francis down the wing. That's where it goes. Francis will have to job to keep the ball in. He does, though, 
and he wins the corner. Superb bit of play on this right hand touchline from Burnley. And it's won them the first corner of the game. How Burnley would love to get an early goal. Jacob with the corner. Monnington making the run. That's where it goes to. Up goes Monnington. Inside the area. Francis turns. Knocked off the line. First real chance. Francis unable to get any real power behind it. And it will go all the way back from Burnley. Long kick again, Conroy putting pressure under the Huddersfield defence. And he seemed to be fouled then. I think all he's got is a throne in the end. Nope. The referee has given the corner. And it's given the opportunity for Pender and Monington to get in there again. Swung in, looks for Francis, the keeper's lost it, Francis can't get it over the line. Scramble inside, must come to Mornington. In, fen, in fact, Pender, and somehow Huddersfield defended the goal. It seems certain Burnley would score then. But great defending on the line, and I think Mitchell and Jackson. Swung in again. Real pressure, there's the goal, surely handball, penalty, Pender's header, there was no way in the world that that ball could be stopped with anything other than the hand, and Burnley have got the start that they dearly wanted. And it might be even a sending off, no, it was a deliberate handball, and Mike Conroy has been given the opportunity to score from the spot. Conroy versus Clark. Burnley with a great opportunity to go 1 0 up. Clark, can he stop? Conroy, no! Conroy's put Burnley in the lead. His 24th goal this season sees Burnley go 1 0 in front here in the Northern Area semi final. And now Huddersfield will have to come at Burnley. No more offside shots will be played in this game. Just the start that Burnley wanted, two chances in a minute. The first Francis couldn't force over the line. Some good goalkeeping from Tim Clark after he initially lost the ball. And then the head up from Pender, maybe even Monnington had a hand in it as well. There was certainly a hand from a Huddersfield player. That was the reason for the penalty. Meesham forward again. Charlton, forward again by Meesham, Conroy to chase, and Jackson has to concede the throw in. It's going to be a long throw from Roger, like. In it goes, Francis is up, so is Burnley's other big man. Here's Eli again, Misham being used, straight at Mark Wright. And Mark Wright does a good job too. But it will go only as far as John Pender. We've had 10 minutes of this game and Burnley have got the start that they so dearly wanted. A goal in the opening minutes. McNabb, neat ball through to Roberts. Good stuff this from the third division side. McNabb again. Out to right. Right a look for the cross. It's up there. So is Walker. And he makes a comfortable take.
Harper. Neat stuff from the former Preston player. Not a bad ball forward, two for Eli. Just drifted out of play before he could reach it. Conroy holds things up. Oh, it was the right sort of ball to play, but the run wasn't made for me, like. There's a long way to go in this game yet, but Burnley's Wembley dream is certainly on the right tracks at the moment. Here's Roberts, wins the free kick. Penner just doing a little bit too much leaning in for Mr Watson's liking. <laughs> Charlton with the free kick, chips it in, Burnley will get it clear. It's going to come straight back though, here's Donovan, good run from him, good tackle from Donovan. Huddersfield throwing on the far side. And it looks as if Simon Trevor's going to lap up the long one. But goes Jacob. Knocks it down for John Deary. Back by Charlton. There's the offside flag. And Burnley will have a chance to leave the pressure. Certainly that goal has silenced the Huddersfield fans. They were very lively until the start. Here's Pender. He's been robbed by Ifianora. Chance here for Huddersfield. Anora screaming through the middle, lines up the shot. Good one, Walker's there. Offside flag. I'm sure the referee hasn't seen it yet. He will know. Yes, offside the decision. The goal wouldn't have counted. But a chance for Huddersfield. That's what they can do on the break. If you know, are showing what lightning speed he's got. Could easily have been one all. Up goes right. And that's height to the Huddersfield attack. As Pender gets up again. McNabb looking for right. He's with Misham. And Misham does his job well. Jacob. Sensibly knocks it back. That's a better kick from Walker. Up goes Conroy, seemed to be pushed a little by Mitchell in the Huddersfield defence. Here goes Francis again. Good tackling back by Mark Wright. Misham to Conroy. Oh, he just held it up a little too long and McNabb was quickly in on it. Roberts spreads the ball into the middle of the field. Donovan with a pass forward. If you're near it, offside. He's certainly been the danger man so far, as far as Burnley will be concerned. If you knew that. He's been very lively on this Huddersfield left. Eli leaves it. Harper with his back to goal. Needs support behind him. He's put in a corner. There's little he can do here. And the linesman signals the goal kick.
Francis, that's a powerful header forward, looking for Eli. His feet were very high then. As Wright and Misham both challenge for the ball. Here's Inura again. Had support inside then from Donovan. Inura just holds things up. Now it goes, looking for McNabb. The pass was behind. Travell spreads it to McNabb now. Harper wins it off. Travell takes it up. Space here for Simon Travell. Good cross. Roberts up in the air. Superb defending from Martin Monington. But only at the expense of the second corner of the game for Huddersfield. And again from right, good header out by Deary. Back in again. Roberts with the header down, and who returns, tries with a shot, might come instead. For number six, Peter Jackson, the referee signals it, took a deflection. And Huddersfield will get a second corner in as many minutes. Joe Jacob is going to be fit to continue. But that little spell of injury has just brought down the charge of the situation on Burnley. Donovan chips in again. Walker decided half to come, then changed his mind. Burnley do get it clear, but it'll come straight back with Charlton. Right. Down for Donovan again. Four by Jackson. Here's Harper, needs to get the ball clear, he's got stuck in the middle there. And Huddersfield get the ball back again. McNabb, good challenge from Farrell. As if you know, tries to steal in inside Monington, again danger inside the area for Burnley, still pressure on them. McNabb gets the ball back. Anora inside the area, good challenge from Deary and Jacob gets it away. And a cracking tackle from Roger Eli too on Graham Mitchell and it's he who wins the free kick. Jacob wants the short ball, Harper says there's no room for it. And now Jacob goes in the air instead, and it's going to go straight through to the Huddersfield keeper, Tim Clark. Inura holds the play up, lays it back for O'Regan. Roberts looks for O'Regan again, Burnley get it clear, Conroy will chase, and they'll pick up the ball. He's got Eli inside, Francis now coming in support. And the ball ended up in no man's land, and Tim Clark had an easy take. Monington forward again, Huddersfield throwing. O'Regan, good chest down from Anura, Luke's. Looking for Roberts, Burnley pick the ball up and get it clear. And might have even released John Francis, Francis bustling his way through. And the ball safely in the end comes back by Simon Charlton. Then they can't head it back because Eli's taking a bit too long in picking the, his feet and getting back. Here's Conroy though. He was certainly on side, spreads it to Harper. Harper now has got men in the centre, decides to go to Long Man's fancy a shot, Harper, great shot, comes to Eli, over the bar. It was the run from Steve Harper after Mike Conroy had held up possession, after he initially broke the offside trap. Then, as Harper cut inside looking for the shot, which was saved, Eli just couldn't steal into the far post.
Nisham forward again. And there's number six, Andrew Fowl. Pender, Olney, to Chirrell. O'Regan has to come back. Now McNabb, O'Regan makes the run outside. Good one touch stuff from Huddersfield. He finally breaks down. And Burnley will get the goal kick. Halfway through now this first half and Burnley leading. Thanks to that goal. After nine minutes through Mike Conroy from the penalty spot. Burnley's leading goal scorer got his 24th goal of the season. As Roger Eli goes through the referee, waves play on Eli, beats the keeper and scores. 2-0 to Burnley. And it was as simple as that. Roger Eli picks up his 11th goal of the season. He initially looked for the free kick, seeing the referee waving play on Eli, decided to go it alone and did the business. And Burnley now in a very commanding position. Two goals in the first half an hour. And Huddersfield have got a mountain to climb. What a time for Burnley to get the second goal, just as Huddersfield were looking to come back into the game. Burnley hit him on the break. And Roger Eli's persistence and shot was just good enough to beat Tim Clark. I think Tim Clark will feel like he should have picked that one up. But who cares, Burnley now two goals clear. Anura, chest the ball down, Jacob Ford again, Huddersfield looked very susceptible to the high ball. And that tackle came in then, and Andy Farrell and there's words between him and Neil McNabb, rather John Deary. Andy Farrell now in there to calm things down. And both McNabb and Deary now will have to have words with the referee, Mr Watson. And I've got a feeling Neil McNabb might be going into the book. Yes, Neil McNabb goes into the book. Now will John Deary. Oh, yes. That is unfortunate. John Deary's... Reaction to the challenge has cost him a yellow card. Certainly there was no doubt that Neil McNabb was going to pick up a boot kink. But I'm sure Jimmy Mullen will not be pleased to see John Deary go in the book as well for retaliation. Burn the free kick. As Joe Jacob tells John Deary what to do, get forward. There's movement there in front of Jacob as it goes inside the area. Headed out by Roberts and there's going to be a free kick here for Huddersfield anyway. So what a start for Burnley. Two goals inside the first 25 minutes. From what we've seen so far, Burnley will not look out of place at all in the third division. They've not been overawed by the third division authorities. And apart from that chance from Miffy and Aura, Huddersfield have done very little. Here they come now. Harper needs to get the ball clear. Up to Eli. Eli wasn't far. Play on, says the referee. McNabb goes in again. This time, Farrell gets the better of him. And eventually Burnley will win the throw-in. Farrell, forward to Conroy, holds play up, that's a neat ball from him. Spreads play to the opposite wing to Jacob. 
Harper cuts inside. Now goes in field, looking for Hart, looking for Conroy rather. Might fall for Francis. And had a play by Misham. And Aura up to Roberts. Foul, missed time the challenge. Roberts puts it inside for Donovan. Now Burnley come again. Conroy doesn't have the beating of Mitchell this time. Misham got up well. Francis controls the ball and knocks it inside the area. Unfortunately, we straight at Tim Clark. And Clark launches a massive kick. If an aura is up for this one, but so was Monnington. Only comes as far as Oh Regan. Regan with room to get the cross in. Roberts up for it. Goes over his head. Misham with a clearance. It's not a good one at all. Still up in the air. Farrell. Only as far as Travell. Travell decides he'll take on Jacob now under, under pressure and he's happy just to pick up the throw Simon Chavelle with a long throw and looks for Roberts up goes Walker makes a good take this is the bear and the keeper Keeping Chris Pierce at the moment out of the first team. Conroy heads the ball down for Misham. Misham waits for the movement in front, sees none forthcoming, decides to go to Farrell instead. Misham again, oh, he just lost his touch for a second, and O'Regan put pressure on to the Burnley right fullback. And it wouldn't have counted anyway because offside flag had gone up against Mike Conroy. Roberts knocks the ball down, forward by O'Regan, is moving now, more into the middle. Anora battling for the ball, so is Deary. That's a better kick from Walker. Up in the air again, Francis heads the ball on, the offside flag, that time looked to be justified. Roberts again wins the ball in the air. Nura takes it on. Might have room for the shot. Decides to bring it down for a right instead. That's a good cross up. Goes Roberts again. And great defending at the back by Mark Monnington. The fifth corner again. What little win there is inside Turf Moor tonight has been in favour of Huddersfield in this first half, which has. A little over 15 minutes left. Huddersfield swing the ball in, panic again inside the area. Burnley will get the ball clear now through Harper. No, it falls kindly though. Francis up to Eli. Eli waits for the support around him, none forthcoming. And the referee comes to Roger Eli's assistance and gives him a free kick. Misham for Conroy, heads the ball inside, looking for Francis. Not the best of clearances from by Charlton. Misham forward again, up in the air by Eli. Pressure on Huddersfield again, they're panicking at the back. And now John Deary. Jacob back to Deary. Deary turns, looking for the back pass. Burnley in a corner. And Jacob, I think, wins the free kick, yes. He's quick to, to his feet to take the free kick up to Conroy. Conroy's got Harper inside, that's where it goes. Harper's got room for the cross, which is knocked away by Mark Wright, who wins a free kick for a bit of elbowing by Ian Misham.
Roberts wins the ball in the air. Farrell, calm as you like, knocks it all the way back to Nigel, or rather Nicky Walker. Nisham flicks the ball on again. Anora, Farrell putting him under pressure. He wins the ball, Farrell, and he's first to his feet now. Huddersfield diving again, Anora now coming forward. Spreads it out to Neil McNabb. McNabb's got Travell outside of him. Decides to wait and give it to Anora. Now Travell. Anora again, that's a good shot, but Nicky Walker well in control of the situation. Deary forward again, no outside flag, here goes Eli. Might come to Francis, fancies the shot. Just drills it wide. Right. Flicks it on, up goes Roberts with Misham. Misham again wins the ball in the air. Something he's done so far, convincingly all night. And Mr. Charlie seemed a bit harsh then against Roger Eli. Farrell up in the air. Back it goes from right. Huddersfield win the free kick. Simon Charlton will take it. Oh, not the best of free kicks by Charlton. Harper. Knocks it up to Eli, Burnley now looking to counter-attack, needs support Eli, holds play out well. And that's a great ball through for John Deary, just too far in front of him. Great bit of play from Roger Eli. McNabb, Mitchell shows too much of the ball to Eli. Francis steps inside, loses control, Pender forward again. Up in the air by Jackson, back by Farrell. Now brought down to Francis's feet. In goes Deary. Very scrappy at the moment in the middle of the field until Simon Charlton takes control. He's got the run being made by Donovan. And Pender's there. And he'll let the ball run out of play for a goal kick. Superb bit of play there from the captain for Burnley, John Pender. And even the referee there, Mr Watson, allowed a smile. This game at the moment has been played in the best possible spirit and Burnley have got the best possible scoreline so far, 2-0. Harper, back to Jacob. Up goes Conroy, that's a good flick on, maybe a chance here for Andy Farrell. Oh, drove it wide. The opportunity beckoned them for Farrell. His shot, though, lacked the room. Here goes O'Regan. A 3 2 on Aura. Might get the room for the shot. No, he will. He'll tee up Regan instead. Oh, just wide, and that was danger for a second for Burnley. Oh, Regan with possibly Huddersfield's best chance of the game so far. For a moment, the crowd around me went silent because it looked as if Kevin O'Regan, or Kieran O'Regan, was going to pull Huddersfield back in this game. 
That's the winner free kick now. Roberts with the header down. Oh, the clearance wasn't a good one. McNabb now looking to spread the ball. O'Regan gives it in back, back room in front of McNabb. And then Misham pulls out a real tremendous tackle there. And now Burnley with the opportunity to move the ball. Harper teasing his way past his defender, Travell. Still, Steve goes forward. And now O'Regan picks the ball off him. And Travell finds Onura. And again, Huddersfield win the free kick. Mitchell looks for Roberts and he'll win the free kick, Roberts. John Pender leaning on Ewan Robertson now. Huddersfield with a great opportunity on the edge of the area. They do have some free kick specialists there. McNam wags a crack, as does Donovan and O'Regan. Simon Charlton might fancy his luck too. Either way, Burnley have got some defending to do. It looks as if it's going to be Simon Charlton to hit it. McNabb standing over the ball. Nicky Walker ready in goal. Charlton is left. It goes instead to Jackson. No, Charlton. Right. The Burnley wall did its job. Roberts on the far side. Good control from him. Gives it to O'Regan. Back to Roberts. Room for the cross. Takes a deflection and... Huddersfield get another corner. Neatly shook free kick from Jackson, but the Burnley wall did its job well. Mark Wright now goes over to that far side. For I think Huddersfield's seventh or eighth corner now. Swings it in. Up goes Penda. Spread back to right, and Deere is in there to make the challenge. <laughs> Half-time beckoning, Burnley still well in command with that 2-0 scoreline. O'Regan gets the ball back off McNabb, still going forward into the area, Roberts looking to turn, Francis now with the opportunity to break clear, still Francis goes on, advantage surely has to be played. No, the referee's pulled back for the free kick. It seemed the rider option then from Mr. Watson to allow Francis the run. He'd kept his feet as Donovan and Wright tried to take it from underneath him. Little over three minutes left of this half, plus injury time. Burnley well in command at the moment. As Mark Monington wins a free kick, then Roberts might be in trouble here. He's certainly got in the way of Mark Monington, then with his head. And Roberts going to go into the book. He'll be the second Huddersfield player to do so. Joining Neil McNabb, who went in to the referee's book and collected a yellow card early in the half, along with John Deary. Jack up with the free kick again, Burnley realising that Huddersfield have left O'Regan up. John Deary just dropping back, and it goes by Jacob. Out comes Tim Clark, makes the punch. Dangerous decision to make, Harper takes on his man, Travell. Needs support now to Steve Harper, not really forthcoming from any Burnley player. And he's been put into a corner and eventually had nowhere else to go except into touch.
Donovan flicks the ball on. Farrell got in the way of it, but it'll come straight back. And Leesham's back pass isn't a good one. Wright steals in on it. And he's happy to let the ball drift out for another corner. Huddersfield certainly have had a lot of set pieces in this half, but have yet to make anything of them. Burnley have defended well against the big men, Roberts. As Walker comes and collects, that's why. Nicky Walker's performed admirably coming out of this area and has yet to miss a catch. Nisham lets the ball go out for the throw-in. Just in front of us. Here's Francis. Gives it back to Misham. Conroy will chase. Charlton again, the suspect man in the defence. Comes through to Eli. No offside flag. Eli's got support. Conroy sets himself up and tries it right when it seemed easy to score. That probably the best chance of the half. And Mike Conroy has scored his 24th goal of the season from the penalty spot earlier. Drove it well wide. Forward by Monnington. Flicked on by Deary. Here's Conroy. He missed that chance a few seconds ago. Right. Nisham in there with a the challenge. Charlton. Keep on, on. Keep on, on. Puts it down the line. Nuru has been more subdued in the last 15 minutes by the Burnley defence. Right in the corner. Wins the throw in. O'Regan coming over to this left hand side now. Anura back to Charlton. His control wasn't the best. And Francis put in the challenge. We're now into injury time that the referee will allow on. Harper bringing the ball away. Uses Conroy. Conroy back to Harper. But the pass, like his shot a few minutes ago, was well off target. There goes the half-time whistle. A gratifying end to the first 45 minutes for Burnley. They've got the two-goal lead, thanks to a goal after 39 minutes from Mike Conroy from the penalty spot. Welcome back for the second 45 minutes of this Autoglass Northern Area semi-final between Burnley and Huddersfield. Burnley leading 2-0, thanks to goals in the first half by Mike Conroy and Roger Eli. Huddersfield with a mountain to climb as they get us underway for this second half. And I'm sure it won't be too long before you see Phil Starbuck off the bench. Either side at the moment, not making any changes though. I'm sure Jimmy Millen will have said same again, boys, at the half-time break. Because another 45 minutes like the first will surely see Burnley another step nearer to Wembley. Here goes Francis. He's got Eli on the touchline. That's where he goes to. Eli will have to stop because the flag's up for offside. Ironic cheers when the referee came out from either supporters. The Huddersfield fans booing Mr Watson. The Burnley fans cheering him. We're certainly not at a bad half. Both decisions, one to allow the penalty, or to, rather to give the penalty, and one to allow Roger Eli to continue his run. But both correct decisions. Here's Harper. Teasing his way through again. O'Regan makes a great tackle on the touchline. Deering battling with Travell. Here goes Conroy. He's got men in the centre who can provide the cross. And it goes. There's Eli. Just wide. Roger Eli a whisker away from his second goal. Mike Conroy on hand to provide the cross. Just looking at the chances 
in the game so far. It's all gone Burnley's way. There's only been two of any note from Huddersfield. On by Conroy, there's Eli, brings it down for Deary, but Deary was pushed off the ball by Donovan. Four goal Huddersfield now. No side flag against Anura. And Anura for once lets the ball drift away from him to touch. Francis able to control the ball and make a useful pass down the line. Conroy is a whisker away there. Charlton with a throw in. Burnley certainly have got joy down his wing. Neat header down by Conroy. Unfortunately, it wasn't to the feet of Eli. Jackson up in the air, forward by right, it's going to come through to Pender again, Eli will chase, Mitchell's there first. Roberts brings the ball down, gives it to McNabb, who darts his way through, now here goes O'Regan, back to Roberts, good play from Huddersfield, but Burnley there, there in the form of Ian Meesham to get the ball clear. Back it'll come though again, no. Nope. The referee signals a free kick for John Deary. And a chance now for Burnley just to calm things down again. But certainly want to kill this game in the second half. Will not want to give Huddersfield a goal back and then put pressure on themselves in the latter stages of this game. Charlton with a header out. Far side, Burnley right. Eli will take the throw in. He's lining up the long one. Francis is up for it. Good defending from Jackson, still in the air. McNabb's clearance wasn't successful enough and Deary nearly snatched him on a chance. Four now go Huddersfield, Donovan in possession. Finds McNabb inside, McNabb out to the wing to right. Misham just holding him up and now pushing him back. Great play for me and Misham, superb stuff. And I don't know how Mr Watson could penalise him there. He seemed to do everything right, the Burnley fullback. Somehow, though, Ian Meeshan's found himself having to have a talk with the referee. It seemed quite unfair. In by Donovan. Up goes Roberts, still inside the area. Burnley having trouble getting the ball clear until Ian Meeshan again takes control of the situation and calmly heads the ball back to Nicky Walker. Certainly has been the star man so far. Not the best of kicks again though from Walker. Here's Farrell. Pender and the pressure. Toll pumps it back to Walker. Jacob puts pressure under Monington. This isn't what Burnley should be doing. He should be getting it out of their half. And Conrad just can't get onto the pass. Burnley will want to play the rest of this second half in the Huddersfield half and not give Huddersfield any chance at all to get back in this game. Roberts flicks it on just in front of us. Here's O'Regan. He's had probably the best chance for Huddersfield and he's quickly took that throw in for Roberts. Farrell steps in. Onura and Farrell... Both look at each other. They both dived in with two feet flying. The referee decided Farrell was the offender. And Huddersfield have got another dangerous free kick. 
They haven't used the set pieces so far. McNabb again waste the set piece. Here's Eli. Eli stole in on Charlton. Can he finish again? Roger Eli lining up the shot, needs support. Charlton does his job well. And it goes back by O'Regan. And Clark had to get down in the end for the back pass instead of the shot. Good run again from Eli. Charlton, after losing the initiative, made up with it for the challenge. Felly should have just shot a little early. Roger Eli. Here's Joe Jacob. Forward again, no offside. Conroy will come. Clark boots it into the stand. And Burnley will get the throw it. Huddersfield fans shouting for Starbuck. He's yet to get a chance on the field. And Burnley will be well pleased with that. Farrell's ball forward puts Charlton under pressure, or rather Travell under pressure, but he's equal to it and he brings Huddersfield out of defence into attack. And until Deary steps in, Eli, the tempo just steps up again. Francis using his pace to good effect. Jackson now, end-to-end -end stuff between these two sides. Huddersfield now with nothing to lose. Burnley just seems to be overhit. Conroy keeps it in play though. Surely obstruction. Amazingly, Mr. Swift, the linesman on this side, gives it against Mike Conroy. And in fact, the Huddersfield fans are going to get their wish for Starbuck just getting ready to come on. I'm sure it'll be a defender to come off as Pender deals with the ball and gets it back to Nicky Walker. This is Phil Starbuck waiting to enter the fray. He's got around half an hour to make some impression on this game. Harper might just finish it all off. Oh, he just couldn't steal in. Still the opportunity for Steve Harper. Inside the area, he's got to shoot. Goes for the cross instead. And oh, Regan's back there defending. And the opportunity's wasted. Right. Gets it up to Inura. Back it'll come from Burnley. Offside against Conroy. And now Starbuck will be entered into this Northern Area semi final. And it's going to be Neil McNabb, who's battled hard, but has gained very little response in the middle of the field. for his actions and Starbuck now will be given the opportunity of using his experience and goal scoring ability to try and get Huddersfield back in this game Monington immediately into the action with Starbuck back by Jackson here's Roberts forward for Starbuck Pender deals with the situation admirably again Starbuck now with his first touch O'Regan cuts inside, might fancy the shot, goes for it, but it's well over the bar. So Huddersfield now moving O'Regan into the middle of the field alongside Kevin Donovan. And Huddersfield will now play with three up front, three midfield, four in defence. There's certainly no spaces for Burnley and it'll be on the break but they'll look to seal this game. John Francis, not the best of passes. John Deary makes up for it though. Here's Steve Harper who really should have sealed the game a few seconds ago. Forward again by Jacob. Now Conroy, great control on his chest. He's got support behind him, John Deary. He'll just draw Kevin O'Regan in and then finds that the throwing's not going his way. This is going to be the latest score in the other semi final. It's Crew nil, Stockport 2. Stockport, we here have gone 2 0 up at Crew. So it looks at the moment as it's, if it's going to be a Burnley Stockport final, which would be all the two legs.
Stockport currently riding high in Division 3. Burnley riding high in Division 4. Then will be two crackers of a game. If the scoreline stays the same here, Starbuck trying to change that. Mornington, who's been appointed to mark Phil Starbuck, has dealt with him so far. It's going to be another corner for Huddersfield. Wright will take it. He's got the big men in again. Decides for the short ball to Starbuck. He tries and tease his way through. Steve Harper, the man who does that for Burnley, gets his foot in and gives away another corner for Huddersfield. Wright swings the ball in. Well headed out by John Pender. Here's Steve Harper. Needs to get the ball out of defence. Dangerous ball to play inside your own half. But Burnley get away with it. And here's John Francis. Charlton under pressure again. Francis going through. Has he got the pace? No. Just couldn't pick up his own ball. Tim Clark quickly out of his goal. And Francis a whisker away again. Starbuck and Monington again battling for the ball. Jacobs' final touch for this field throw. Travell lays it back for Anora. Anora showed too much of the ball, surely no. Joe Jacob holds his hands on his head because he knew he made the first mistake, but the opportunity was there for Farrell to get the ball clear. Instead, it's going to be another throw for Huddersfield. Chevelle lines up the long throw. Inside the area. Danger again. In steps John Deere this time. Another throwing for Huddersfield. Harper tries and keeps the ball in play, doesn't succeed. Burnley just under pressure from the minute as Treville gets the ball in. Walker comes, this time he loses it and makes up for it as the ball falls kindly for him inside his six-yard area. Pender again there to do the defensive work. Again, his kick isn't the best. Treville knocks it forward. Out it goes by Jacob. Or Jacob, rather. Starbuck surely got the final touch to that ball. Yes, it will be a Burnley throw. Conroy, good control from him, but his turn didn't match it. There's Farrell. Stepping in again in the middle of the field. And sensibly taking no risk, knocking it all the way back to Nicky Walker. Burnley with no risk at all need to be taken. Huddersfield now have to make the gambles. Conroy. There's Mitchell. Now Charlton. Starbucks up for it, heads it inside. It'll only go to Jury though. And Burnley win the throwing. John Francis, a loot to take it quickly, decides against it. Misham. Right with the clearance. Up to Roberts. Down for Starbuck. Starbuck now with room in front. Back from Burnley to do the defensive job. Deary all the way back to Walker again. Goes Eli, not the best of headers from Jackson. Jacob needs to be brought down, but Conroy has been caught offside.
Mitchell looking for Starbuck again. Monington's up. Falls for O'Regan though. Now Deary cuts back inside. Superb bit of play from John Deary. Finds Steve Harper. Harper needed the first time ball. Now he puts himself under pressure. And again the bounce falls kindly for Burnley. Harper just once too often tried to dwell on the ball a little too long. Misham quickly takes the throw to Eli. Eli steals inside his man again. The lunging tackle gives away the throwing. Eli. The long ball again, up goes Farrell, headed out well by Jackson though. And Eli let it drift again so he can launch another ball inside the box. Eli, or rather Francis, didn't seem to want to jump then. Here's Deary, good ball back across, no offside, Conroy, no. Mitchell does his job well. And now, maybe the opportunity for Huddersfield to counter-attack. Or Fionura. Takes on Monnington. Monnington, though, surely will pick this up. No. But the referee decides the free kick was the right decision anyway. Onura doing just a little too much pushing for Mr Watson's liking. Here's Eli, good ball over the top, Conroy steals in, can he get the return? No. Good defending from Simon Charlton. But apart from five or ten minutes earlier in this half, Burnley have kept control of the game and kept Huddersfield under their thumb to good effect. And it is they who are looking more likely to increase the scoreline. Here's John Deary. Nice Steve Harper. Deary again. Farrell will pick up the loose header. Back inside, but it's straight at Tim Clark. Pender gives away the free kick against Roberts. Those two certainly have had. A rare old battle there. And it's quickly taken the free kick star, but flicks it on, but it's wide. And that's the first real opportunity that the former Nottingham Forest player has had since coming on. Monnington is at the moment doing an excellent job on him. Number four. Harper. Taken off his toe by O'Regan. He gets the return from Pukinura. Starbuck turns. But he's past, we're going to search, yes. The North Control isn't at the best of the easiest of times. They're alone in those circumstances. Tom Wright. Jacob, or rather Jacob decides to keep it in play. And then Chevel. Gets the final 64 goals into the picture of Ben Lissard. Just in front of us, Joe Jacob. Steve Harper hits inside nicely and gives it back to Joe Jacob. Down the line to Mike Conroy. Conroy waits for some movement in front. Non fourth coming goes to John Deary instead. Deary holds play up again. Good ball through the middle. And there's a little bit of holding there from Red Deary Light. Middlesbrough we'll get the free kick. Roberts with a tender again, where the money from the time and Starbuck dealt well by the Burnley captain. Starbuck. 
with, uh, with Mark Wright. And there's nobody running onto that pass, although Ewan Robert makes a feeble attempt near the end. And that really, at the moment, sums up Huddersfield's night. If you are a neutral fan here, you would have had much trouble in distinguishing the third division side from the fourth division side. If anything, Burnley would have certainly got your vote. Here's John Francis. That's a great ball through again. Conroy, or rather Eli, who has Conroy inside of him, just couldn't steal him on the ball. Misham, or rather Jacob, Misham here now. Well, surely not the ball all the way back. Halfway through this second half, at the moment, there's been no alarm bells ringing in the Burnley defence in this second half. And it's looking very lightly. Or rather, very unlikely that Huddersfield are going to score. Let's hope that's not tempting fate. Here goes right again, taking the ball down the touchline. Misham does his job and makes the tackle. Going quickly taken, but it wasn't taken from the right position. I think in the end, Mr. Charnley was flagging for an offside decision. Up goes Eli. Charlton goes for the back pass. Jackson. Through again to start, but good turn from Phil. Who it's a great shot just wide. <laughs> Phil Starbuck there showing Burnley what he can do on the turn. An excellent shot then under pressure from a long way out. <laughs> Up in the air again. Deer will try and bring it down. And now bring the ball forward. Spreads it out to Joe Francis. Francis has got support on the touchline from Misham. Shown a little too much there to the Huddersfield defender. And amazingly, the corner isn't given because it looked for all odds that Mark Ryder got the final touch. Monnington back forward again. There's Eli, and he wins the free kick. The Huddersfield fans all to that far side have certainly been just subdued in this game. After Mike Conroy gave Burnley the best possible start after nine minutes, they've never really had a look in. There's been one or two chances, but nothing really. You could say definitely looked like a goal-scoring opportunity. Starbuck, though, since coming on as Luke Lively. The back pass is short, and Kieran O'Regan was always going to put pressure on Nicky Walker. Conroy flicks the ball on, handball. It was felt against Charlton. Play on, says the referee, right, plays it through. And again, Nicky Walker making an easy collect. Time Jackson given the free kick. 
Again, it was six to one and half a dozen of the other. As Farrell heads the ball out. Here's Farrell again, he neatly knocks it on to Francis. Francis with the ball over the top. Harper wasn't offside, but Conroy was again. And that was unfortunate because Steve Harper made a great run for John Francis and the ball was perfect. Inside the area, danger here, Roberts with a shot, comes instead to Wright, who drives it wide at the right-hand post. That the best opportunity this second half for Huddersfield. And we're just starting to have more of an opportunity now inside the Burnley box in the last 10 minutes. Huddersfield. Here's Starbuck again, putting pressure on the pen, nobody sticks to his job well. Burnley now are going to make their first stupid We'll get it out now. First substitution of the game. Graham Lancashire is coming on. He's going to replace Steve Harper, who hasn't had that bad a game. But has found little joy on this left hand side. And Graham Lancashire has 10 goals to his credit this season so far. He's given the opportunity to add to it with around 15 minutes this game left. Here's Starbuck. He needs to get in front of him, he gets in the shot again, this time it goes well wide. As I was saying before, I've had the opportunity to watch Phil Starbuck on a few occasions this season and he doesn't mind having a shot from any range. One occasion I did see him, he scored an absolute blinder against Wigan Athletic from about that range and Burnley will have to be wary of him and get men behind the ball to block any free area that he is provided with. Here's Roberts, lays the ball back, fought by Jackson. If you know that, his control again was put under pressure. No real hope of keeping that ball in. Treville, Regan, Inora again. A Regan, down for Treville. Starbuck, again Monington having to stick closely to him the runs was made then from Donovan it wasn't spotted, here goes Mitchell holding things up lays it inside Burnley now will get the ball clear Roger Eli through for Graham Lancashire first touch for the substitute what can he make of the opportunity it was far than the touchline and wasn't the best of challenges at all there by Graham Mitchell he might find himself going in to Mr Watson's book. He'll be the third Huddersfield player to do so. No, Mr Watson decides the lecture is enough this time. But Burnley do feel would like a third to just clinch this game. Up goes Pender, not the best of clearances at all by Tim Clark. No star, but looking to counter-attack for Huddersfield. Treville under pressure. Conroy and Eli didn't do the best. Treville dived then. I have no doubt at all that Simon Treville died. I watched Mike Conroy go past him. And Mr Watson, I'm sure, was obscured by the view and fell for Treville's dad dive because it was a dramatic fall from the Huddersfield right back. Mike Conroy running away from him then. But he's going to go into the book, which is disappointing because I can personally say from this angle, he was running away from the man and Treville put on the dive when it seemed, to my view, that Conroy didn't make contact. But he's become the second Burnley player to go in the book. Here's Francis. 
Francis has got Lancashire in support. It's got to be played through for Lancashire. Delightful ball through. Lancashire in the clear. Scoots his shot just wide. The opportunity arose. And Burnley were again showing what they can do on the attacking front. Lancashire has only been on the field for some five minutes. Very near to adding to his ten goals this season. Here he is again, battling his way through. That, I feel, will have to be a booking for Graham Mitchell. He might be lucky if he doesn't escape with a sending off. Mitchell, who was warned on the touchline a few minutes ago by Mr Watson. He was lucky to escape without a booking then. He will not escape now. Mr Watson will show surely Graham Mitchell the yellow card. I thought for a minute it might be the red. Mr Watson calmly made the right decision. But Graham Lancashire, since he's come on, has certainly livened up the Burnley attack. Deary with a free kick. Can he put the icing on the keg? Donovan under pressure from his opposite number. And John Deary has said something to his man, and Deary will surely go off now if he's going to go in the book. He's already been given the yellow card from Mr Watson and this really would be a disaster for Burnley amazingly John Deary is going to be given the red card from Mr Watson and he's going to spoil what has been an exceptional night for Burnley but they're going to 10 men and Huddersfield now have been given the opportunity to get back in the game and Roger Eli didn't like that as Huddersfield, through all the confusion and noise, are going to make their second and final substitution. Keown O'Regan is going to come off. And number 14, John Kelly, will come on. But John Deary's night <laughs> has ended in disappointment. He certainly will not be pleased with that. It was, must have obviously been something he said to the referee after that decision about the free kick, which didn't seem to be against him as the shot comes in from the substitute. They make it between eight and 10,000 in turf and they've given Burnley the utmost support and even with 10 men you feel that they're on the way to the final of the Autoglass Trophy Northern section. Here goes Charlton. Starbuck flicks it on for Roberts. Roberts turns, looking for the shot. Dies inside the area. Mr Watson makes the right decision. Again, scramble. Huddersfield thought they had a penalty. What well, Roberts, certainly in my view, made the most of the challenge. But the Burnley being put under pressure. Here's Starbuck. And Panda knocks it all the way back. It's up to now to John Pender to just calm things down in his side. And just settle the crowd and the players back to what it was before and kill the rest of this 10 minutes off and get Burnley through the next round. And this is going to be another booking. Mr Watson for the moment has just lost control of this game. Pender flicks it forward. And Burnley will win the throw in. We're inside the last 10 minutes. Burnley comfortably in the lead 2 0, but going to 10 men. This game has certainly not been short of incident. As Burnley have to retake the throw. Both sets of fans now disgruntled with Mr Watson. 
Here's Lancashire. Back to Misham. Inside to Farrell, who now have added responsibility in the middle of the field. And the pass forward by Penner goes out for a goal kick. Pender with the head up. So come down for right, neatly over Misham. That's not a bad ball down the touchline to Starbuck. Still jumps till Starbuck goes until the stepping came from Conroy. He's moved now into a more defensive role. Inside the area, Roberts with Walker. Walker dealt with the ball correctly, and Ewan Roberts in there with his head again. He too has also been booted. However, Mr. Watson decides that wasn't another bookable offence. <laughs> Kelly up with Farrell. Farrell wins the ball in the air, but Eli just straight offside. Up with a header out, Chevel under pressure from Conroy who knocks the ball for a free light to chase. And it just seems to have tied in the last 10 minutes. Roger Eli might be interesting to see whether Jimmy Mullen decides on the substitute, Mark Yates, just to change the pattern and take off maybe an attacker. He has got three or four on at the moment. Conroy though has dropped back into midfield. As has Francis. Misham picks the loose ball up. Will he get there first? Yes, he will. Good challenge, though, from Peter Jackson. <laughs> Farrell needs support around him. There's none really forthcoming. Here's Eli. Mitchell to Treville. Treville also under pressure. And Penda will have to change his mind about the back pass. Pressure again. Put on to Monington. Finally, Penda has the room to get the ball back to Walker. I make it around three or four minutes left of this game, plus injury time between Burnley and a place in the final of the Autoglass Northern section. Roberts knocks it inside. Good challenge from Monington. Here's Kelly. And Lancashire's final touch will give Huddersfield the throw in as Bisham will receive some attention. Scored. Registration number B983 VCW going to the main reception after the match. That's the owner of a Ford Escort registration number B983 VCW. Go to the main reception after the match. You've won a prize. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, the Outer Glass Trophy, Man of the Match Award, goes to Burnley's number five, John Pender. I'm not sure if you heard that over the tannoy, but John Pender has picked up the Man of the Match Award here tonight from the Autoglass people who attend this game as they do every Autoglass game and Mark Yates is going to be introduced for the last few minutes Jimmy Mullen now deciding on the title of switch but you can't do anything but praise John Pender, the Burnley captain who's put in a fine display and rightly got so the man in the match award Ian Meacham though on the fourth side Mark Yates. it's being stretched off let's hope it's more serious than it looks less serious than it looks He's receiving great applause, Ian Misham, who must have run. John Pender very close for that Man of the Match award as we receive the attendance, which was over 10,000. That's superb, really. 
Thank you for your support. a competition that only really starts to take effect as it gets into the latter stages. And there we have the power of that Manny and Misham. He's decided that he doesn't need a stretcher. He's going to continue. I think he deserves at least half the man in the match award just for that. And Mark Yates, who was coming up, now pulls off his shirt and sits back down on the bench because Ian Misham decides that he isn't injured. He was just using up a few seconds. A comment then from one of the fans, Mark Yates, one of his best games this season so far. A little harsh, but it's all in the humour tonight. Burnley on the way, it seems now, to the next round and the final. Here's Starbuck, Anura, Treville battling his way through, gets the cross in. The referee nearly got in the way. What do you mean, like? Forward from Jacob up to Lancashire. Great control from Graham Lancashire. Not a bad pass, too. Jackson under pressure. Francis does a little bit of shoving, and Mr. Watson gives a free kick against him. Ian Meesham does seem to be hobbling, though, a little on that far side. Would seem sensible to take no precaution take the precaution of bringing him off. Burnley will want no injuries for Saturday's game. An all ticket affair against Mansfield away. Right with the cross, it's a deep one up goes Roberts against the underside of the bar, or rather the outside of the bar, and he couldn't even finish off the rebound. Nothing has gone right for the Yorkshire side tonight. Is right again. Forward goes in Aura. Monnington with a challenge. It's an illegal one. And Aura stays down, and Monnington's going to go into the book. I'm sure Jimmy Mullen will not be pleased about this. Too many of his side have gone into Mr. Watson's book tonight. And John Deary has been sent off. And it's not really been a dirty game. Maybe a late consolation here for Huddersfield. We're certainly into injury time. Starbuck is over it. I've got a feeling it'll be he who hits this one. Right, it's also there, but I think he's going to run over it. Yes, he does. Starbuck, the man to hit it. Not a bad shot, too. Roberts couldn't touch it over the line. The shot, however, took a deflection. Quickly taken. Swung in, but it's straight at Nicky Walker. He's had a fine game in the Burnley goal. And Mr. Watson now takes another look at his watch. He's getting his whistle out of his pocket. Burnley are making them around 20 seconds away from that final place. Which, if the scoreline is still the same, a crew will be against Stockport, who are winning 2-0. We're well into time that Mr Watson has added on for this second half. Conroy does the sensible thing down the line. Eli will chase. The ball, however, this time beats him into touch. Starbuck now having to come deep inside his own half to get the ball. If you know that. He's been very subdued in this second half, and that pass really sums up put us for the second 45 minutes. There goes the end of this Northern section semi-final. Burnley have won this game and are moving to the final of the Autoglass Northern section against, we think, Stockport, thanks to a 2-0 win. Goals from Mike Conroy.
And Roger Eli have put Burnley, fourth division, into the final of the northern section of the Alto Glass Trophy. And maybe on the way to Wembley, they're two games away from it. But an excellent display from an excellent Burnley side. We'll remind you of the scoreline again. It's a great one. One that won't be forgetting here a long time at Turf War. Burnley 2, Huddersfield time now.